Welcome! Well, I don't know about you, but I love a box set. Even in this day of streaming video and music, nothing quite beats having a collection of something in a nice big physical box. And while I've got mostly DVD and Blu-ray box sets here at Shea Jimbles, and um, I had even more than that uh, back in the day, but some I've sold for various reasons, but I've still got quite a big collection, particularly of like TV comedy and documentaries, things like that. But another type of box set that I've got a few of, but not quite as many as DVD or Blu-ray, would be music box sets, be them a selection of records in a box, or CDs, or a mixture of both. I've got a CD box set, a really, really nice one that I can't wait to show you to open here today. This was an eBay auction win. I got it for £102, there was just me and one other bidder, and fortunately the other bidder didn't really go that high, whereas I was prepared to go a fair bit higher, so this feels like a bit of a bargain really. Postage was £3.50, but I got this next day guaranteed delivery, so uh, I think the sellers lost out a bit on the postage, but you know they've sold something for £102, so it kind of evens out really. Feels a really good quality box, this, with really thick parcel tape on it. As I say, this is a music box set, CDs, but I think what will end up being one of my prized pieces in my music collection, this. Even though I kind of already had it, and I'll explain as I get going. Some good protective packaging here, lots of bubble wrap and protective paper. Seems to be an old body shop box. So can't fault this eBay seller at all. Many of you will know one of my favourite bands and one of many people's favourite bands. This is a set that I've not been desperate for for too long, but just lately, I don't know why it came to my head that I might want this, but as soon as I kind of thought, oh yeah, that exists, and this has existed since about September 2009 it was originally out, so not exactly a new thing this. But I thought, no, I'm going to see if I can get it at a good price. A lot of the prices on eBay were about almost triple or even more than triple what I paid for it. Like the sort of 250 to £300 pound mark. So like I say, just over 100 for this. I feel like I've got quite a bargain. And I'm talking about the Beatles in mono. Really nice glossy white box. Pretty compact, but pardon the pun, it would be as it's got CDs in it and not an awful lot else. I think there'll be a booklet in here somewhere as well. So, what is the Beatles in mono? It is the Beatles, I think, first 11 studio albums, plus the Past Masters compilation album that I think originally came out in the late 80s or early 90s. And that's been mastered in monophonic or mono sound. And um, basically, this came out 2009, along with a set that I already have, or had, as I've sent it out to someone today. Beatles in Stereo, although that wasn't the official name of the box, they just called it the Beatles Collection or something like that. But everyone, because it came out the same time as this mono box, um, they called it the Stereo Box. Now then, why did I want the mono box when I already had the Stereo Box? Well, there's two reasons, really. The first one, probably the most important one, I had that stereo box for probably about eight years. It's been in my collection. It meant I had every Beatles album, because there's actually more albums in the stereo box than in the mono one, and I'll explain why in a moment. But I always knew it was a little bit of a knockoff. It was a Chinese import, I think it was. I think I got it on eBay seven or eight years ago. It's fine. It's nice quality. Maybe not quite as nice quality as this. Um, but it had every single Beatles album in it. And at that point, I needed to build up my Beatles collection. I didn't have um, hardly any of the albums. And it also had a bonus DVD in it, which this doesn't, but um, I saw the DVD and it's fine, it plays well. Some of the albums in that set, there's misprints on them. All the CDs play fine, from what I can remember anyway. And um, I decided I'm gonna gift that to someone, because I've had it for, what, about eight years. I wanted this, but I didn't need both sets. And I thought, who could I gift it to? And I won't say who I've sent it out to, 
um, but it's someone a lot of people in this small YouTuber community will know and hopefully that person will do an unboxing of it and um, I've left a note in there as well but um, we'll see how uh, that comes about maybe next week. The other reason I wanted this is because it's in mono rather than stereo. Now that sounds a bit weird, especially for sort of people my age and younger. Why would you want a mono audio album or selection of albums in this case rather than stereo? Well, the reason is the Beatles' first 11 albums were only originally mastered in monophonic sound. Um, the albums that were mastered in stereophonic sound, stereo in other words, and um, that became the norm towards the late 60s were Yellow Submarine, Abbey Road and Let It Be. Those three albums aren't in this set, they were in the stereo set. I've not got good enough hearing to really probably make the most of the differences between listening to Beatles albums in mono or stereo, but generally people, particularly your audiophile people and obviously your Beatles super fans who just listen to absolutely everything and really study it. They do say that these 11 Beatles studio albums in here do sound better in monophonic mastering than in stereo. So that's all the science out of the way, if you can call it science. I'll give you a quick butchers at all these CDs here. I mean, this set is obviously not brand new. It's technically second hand, but looks like this seller has really looked after this box set here. I'll just take them out and then just uh, swap them to the back. So first album and as you can see it's kind of done in the style of a record sleeve but um, obviously given the size this is uh, compact discs. We can see the mono logo there. That's the Beatles first album Please Please Me from 1963. Hopefully the seller has left these in the correct order. It looks like it so far. With the Beatles also 63. Hard Day's Night, I think that's out of order actually, I think that's like 4th or 5th, that one. Uh, that one is Beatles for Sale, I think. I'll put these in the right order later, it doesn't matter anyway. Help, from 1965. There's Rubber Soul, that's one of my favourite Beatles albums actually. I was going to say it's underrated, but um, a lot of people like it. They don't talk about it in the same terms as, say, Revolver or Sgt. Pepper, but I know a lot of people like this album, and it is one of my favourites. Um, maybe my second or third favourite, Abbey Road, is always up there for me, which isn't in this set, but I do have a 50th anniversary Abbey Road reissue anyway. There's Revolver, Legendary, 1966, that was. 1967, Sgt. Pepper absolutely legendary and phenomenal record Ooh, feels thicker this one i think it's because originally this was a double ep so they've kind of tried to replicate that double kind of deal here but magical mystery tour which wasn't technically an album it was a double ep but it was later reissued as an album and it was originally mastered in mono so it qualifies for this set uh white album I've also got a 50th anniversary White Album. I did an unboxing of that on this channel some time ago. And there's Mono Masters, which is essentially Past Masters, but all the stuff on it is mastered in mono, as was originally intended back in the early to mid 60s. And um, that should be it, I think. Oh, and there's a nice booklet here as well. I love Beatles reissues and things because it's always a really good quality booklet in it with lots of really good quality photos and some nice essays and then you've got all your track details and your production notes and things like that so uh, wonderful so that's the set as i say i had the stereo box set chinese bootleg it seems to be anyway but i knew it was at the time at the time i don't think i could afford to pay for the proper stereo box set much as i wanted it I think it was at least £150. Whereas there's some Chinese eBay seller selling one for, I think it was like 40 or coming up for 50 or something like that, eight years ago. And it's a nice set. And I know the person it's going to, or the people it's going to, will appreciate it just as a free gift. For me, I mean, obviously this is completely legit, this. Um, I could tell that from all the photos 
and the description and everything. There's nothing iffy or dodgy about this. And it means my Beatles collection continuity continues. As I say, there's some duplicates in my collection, but there was anyway. Sergeant Pepper, I've got 50th anniversary of that. White Album, as I say. As for Abbey Road and Let It Be, which don't feature in this set, um, Abbey Road, the 50th anniversary of that, came out in 2019. I've got the two CD set. And Let It Be, I will be showing that, and I have recently got that. I'm going to be showing that in a video with a couple of other interesting purchases later on this month. So look out for that if you want to see the Let It Be 50th, although this year it's really 51st anniversary set in a bit more detail but there we are hope you enjoyed this look at the beetles in mono i'm probably not gonna be able to tell much difference between how good it sounds in mono compared to stereo and i can't do a like for like comparison well i could do possibly with sergeant pepper and um the white album as i do have the 50th anniversary stereo remasters of those but um i'm not going to bother doing anything like that i just wanted to keep my beatles collection up to date with an official nice high quality box set 102 pound i think for this was an absolute steal as this is quite old now 2009 so i am very happy and i hope the people who are receiving my beatles stereo box set will be happy too it's just nice to give something away just pass something on as a present or an act of kindness when you're finished with that particular item but the Beatles in mono certainly stayed in my collection for the rest of my life however long that will be so thank you all for watching and I want to give special thanks as I always do to my wonderful subscribers and generous patrons speaking of patreon the link for that is in the description text box below and also there is a referral link for contents insurance at urban jungle and there is my facebook group to join as well i'm gonna go now and i'm probably not gonna start on the beatles in mono collection yet because there's 11 albums to listen to obviously i've heard them all before and some i've heard numerous times over the years but i still want to have a good old beatles binge and just listen to these remastered but remastered in monophonic classics from the 1960s here i'm gonna do that over the weekend i think settle down with a pot of coffee a nice vape and the fab four that sounds like the perfect weekend for me and i hope your weekend is good too and i hope that you will join me again next time for my next music collecting and box set unboxing video cheers everyone See ya!